Hello everyone, I'm Mr. MuckleLover and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2 playing as the Russian Empire. So last time, we got Kutai in our sphere, we took out Haiti, and I guess there's the Republic of the Rio Grande over here, Rio Grande's Texas, cool, and we have been building ourselves up. Now, I decided, you know what, let's get an army made of Lithuanians, Belarusians, Ukrainians, and other people that we can find within the Empire, but in this episode, I'm thinking... You know what? I'm just probably gonna go just to find Kalamantan by themselves. Ooh, Ionian Islands. Eh, I'll do that. Who cares? Uh, let's go and just find them. Ooh, that army is not looking good because I want to get these guys because they already have precious metals, which is very, very nice. Cool. Thank you. And let's do that. So, uh, one comment from yesterday was like the audio is just a little too loud yesterday from the last video. So I definitely try to make it a little softer. Because I noticed that was pretty loud when I was taking a good look at it. Also, we do want to go to war with China eventually. Manchuria is in my sphere, but uh, China is going to be a little difficult. I need to get bigger armies, and I need to wait until like 1848 for a revolution of fire in Hungary first. Finish that first, and then keep going forward. And that's not bad. 2.9 infamy. We already have 17, but that's not bad. Increase relations. Uh, with the Germans, we'll increase relations because we can. Cool. And how close? Oh, they want Ashanti? Okay, whatever. And then we might go to Africa after this. Let's get a little bit of Borneo. Alright, All right, let's go ahead, because we want a little more money, because we spent a lot of money on railroads yesterday. Go ahead, give them like a month or two to get more supplies in. <sighs> Come on, man. Good, we can go to war. By September next year. Let's get one more month in to get more, a little more supplies. And then, boom. Good enough for me. Hopefully good enough for you, too. So, uh, I was asking yesterday how to get an punitive expedition Cassus Belli against the Qing Empire. I'm still not exactly sure how to do it, but... I've heard that you might need to go do the naval techs, do supply range, because that could help you get... Uh, reports, organization. Good, we got more research points. That's really, really good. We got some railroads yesterday as well. Hmm. Freedom of trade. Diplomatic influence. Maybe build some factories. I think first, so we want medicine, which would be good. For my population growth, that could, be, that could be really good. But I also want to do some army stuff. You know what, first, let's just do some... I get some army professionalism, because I do want to go to war with China, and that's going to take a while to do. And then maybe get some more education, and then medicine. Cool, building up another army here, that's good. Oh, can we build some roads up here? That'd be great. And before we go to war, or check out what's going on, do I have bureaucrats? No, they're doing well? They're doing well. And I do, that was another comment, put some clerks, or some intellectuals, in... Those places that increase the education efficiency. And that's correct. That's absolutely correct. Which I will do eventually. Alright, so over these guys. Shouldn't be too bad. Should have a problem now. Or Bone and Sulu. Who's up there? Alright, whatever. Get our guys over there first. Oh, the Dutch are over there. Let's do that. Let's get rid of those. Sh oh, that's not even a ship. That's just guys. Oh, I thought those were ships. Let's just come on back then. Uh, missionaries executed in bone. Well, I mean, we're technically already at war with them. Good. Oh, Persia, yes. Persia. Back up here. Priorities. Um, does no one have priority? Mm, okay, let's... Hold on. Country. Persia doesn't exist here now. All right, well, whatever. Let's go over here and do this. All right, now they all exist. Very good, very good. Put them down, put them down. We want to demand a concession, get out of the war as fast as possible, but we'll see what happens. And we'll also take Muralev. Very good, very good. Melee culture. 
Oh, Ashanti Gold Coast. Good. Where, where is a bone? There's Sarawak, and they're in the UK sphere, which is not ideal. I probably have a bigger African Empire in this camp. Oh, they're right there in this campaign than anything else. Cool. Can I just go to peace with you guys? Yeah. There we go. Oh, wait, I couldn't even I couldn't even conquer them? Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Demand concessions. Now we're going to do that again eventually. So be it. You guys just going to stay down here. Get a port going. Kind of hang out. Cool. Oh, at least we took something. At least we took something. Man, that, that sucks. Uh, Sarawak. Oh, these guys have... Oh, I want to go to war with these guys, too. They have precious metal, Pontiac. Oh, they're not exactly Pontiac. Oh, that's... If, why is it so much infamy? To establish a protectorate? That's so much. Mm, supplies, not very good around here. That's okay. Cool. Well, at least we did something. We took a little piece of Asian soil. Which we can use to justify on other people later on. Mm, relations... The French and the Germans. Very good. Get more education efficiency. I want to build up more armies. We're going to send them to Hungary first. And then once the revolution in Hungary is done. Because I still want to spend some time lowering my infamy. Then we'll go and go to war with China. That's the plan. RGOs. Very good. That's very nice. Anywhere else we can build up roads? Yes. Good. Budget's not looking great. Go ahead and lower the supplies, then. That'd be good. Persia, of course. And let's see. We can't see how much militancy is down here, which is fine. Whatever. Whatever. What is that? The Kamul Khanate, huh? Interesting. Interesting. I do have a cup of Russian coffee here with me. And there's less than 500 people here, but let's build roads for them anyways. Minus 0.1 a month, which is... Ooh, minus 0.1 a month isn't very much. Let's get some more liberal support, though. That'll help we'll get more reforms, hopefully. Ooh, yeah. Built some railroads there, too. That'd be great. All right. Uh, France is looking pretty good. Prussia is doing Prussian things. We're allied with Great Britain. We are allied with the Ottomans, which is, of course, weird, but whatever. Uh, two Sicilies. No thanks. No thanks. Oh, maybe we'll go to war. War we? War we? War we eventually. But still 15 political power. That's so much. Or political power. <laughs> that is so much, uh, infamy. Yeah, I don't really care about those German things too much. Not really. Alright, so we can go to war with the, uh, these guys again. 49. That's cool. I'm going to go to war with those guys next. And allied with Kutai, which is, eh, they're in my sphere. They're not really doing much. I'll probably just take them out if I can. Ooh. Kiva. Oh, yes. Thank you, Kiva. Don't worry, I'll kill you off eventually. Worsifications. Increased relations with the Americans. With the Germans. And, of course, the Franche. Carl of Spain is a great power again. Probably not for very long. Uh, sure, why not? For now. Uh, I guess I probably will have to kill you guys eventually unless I get there's a decision for me to like integrate you guys Because I will take you out eventually Call for a convention over the Danish Straits Raider group doctrine create Yugoslavia the peasant reform Hmm Need more consciousness return to third Rome Interesting Moscow becomes a new capital Rusify the Baltic states when the revolution and counter revolution integrate Abkhazia, which will happen eventually. Claim the wah 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 wah. Nationalism and imperialism is going to be important. No, thank you. Bukhara. Persia, whatever. There, my sphere of influence. Very nice. Oh, bureaucrats are done. Great. More bureaucrats. Please, thank you. 
Thank you. And, <clears throat> excuse me. The next thing we're going to do, once we have one more uh, place that has 100% beer crafts, is get intellectuals or clerks or clergymen into, like, St. Petersburg to increase our educational efficiency. So the Polish question. A revolution has begun in Krakow and threatens to spread like wildfire in a great nation. Austria is asking our consent to suppress Krakow, arguing the free city is the focus of the Polish nationality and insurgency, and suppressing the city can end, your, or can end future Polish rebellions. Our diplomats are worried that this rebellion may grow if we don't support Austrians. What should we tell the Austrian envoy? They have our support. Just in case those guys might get a little hectic. Coquelin. Uh, Krakow, no thank you. And it, that was my cup I just set on my little table here. Or should I say desk? Oh. Oh, they are... Well, hold on. Are they going to take them out, like annex them, or... Imperial Restoration. Okay, so they are going to take it. Actually, I'm totally okay with that. Just because... I don't like seeing just like a small little blue blob there. That's not cool. Just give it to Austria. So, Sukasians have risen up again. Or have risen up again. Do that, do that. And declared an open rebellion with an intent of taking, shaking off Russian rule. And we're going to put it down. Circassia. Oh, Circassia. Cool. Very nice. Mexican-American war. Well, Mexico probably won't win, but you never know. You never know. Uh, you guys are good with me. Increase relations with you guys. Increase relations with the Brits. Put them down. Put them down. Industry's looking better with no industrial stuff. Committee for the Polish Independence. In Paris, the Committee for Polish Independence was founded to support the movement for Polish independence from Russia, Austria-Hungary, and Prussia. Oh no. Sounds like we're going to have to put some people down then. Great. I'm going to send you right here just in case something else might happen. Alright, very nice. And now we can integrate this place, like I said earlier. And it's right there. So, the autonomy of Abkhazia, which had functioned as a pro-Russian buffer zone in the troublesome region of Ca the Caucasus, was no more needed to the Tsarist government after the Circassians were defeated and pacified, and the rule of the Shurvashidze came to an end. Prince Michael was forced to renounce his rights and resettle in Voronez. Abkhazia was incorporated in the Russian Empire as a special military province of Suhum Kail. Nice. Removed from accepted cultures. Russian as an accepted culture. I inherit them. As we should. And actually, you're not looking great. I still want to shuffle around my armies a little bit more. Are we building up another group yet? No, we're not. Two, three, four. Four, one. Uh, probably can't build that one. <laughs> And I'm just integrating all a bunch of units now. Let's go ahead and let's lower our spending on land units first. Just because I'm going to keep the military spending high. Because there seems to be a wave of nationalism occurring. Wow. We did just smack down the crack out, people. Wowzers. Oh, what's going on? Wait, what happened? Something happened here. Circassa. Oh, yeah. Transcaucasia is even bigger now. That's cool. Nationalists in the Russian Empire, inspired by a wave of liberalism in the neighboring nation, have risen up. Agitators are running through the streets, waving flags and calling for the brethren to fight for freedom. Responding with violence could inflame the entire state, but Russian officials agree that this cannot be allowed to continue. Absolutely. Put them down, put them down. Uh, let's see. You are okay. You are... Oh my goodness. Uh, these armies aren't very good. Once we have another one, I'm going to shift stuff around. Keep an eye on our national focuses. Uh, Persia, whatever. Circassian Dysphoria. From 1763 to 1846, Circassians fought against the Russian Empire in the Russian Circassian War. Following the coming to a scorched earth campaign initiated in the last two years under General Nikolai Yevdokimov. Afterwards, large numbers of Circassians were exiled and deported to the Ottoman Empire and nearby regions. Total population estimates differ. According to some sources, some 2 million lives in Anatolia, Transjordan, Syria, and Iraq. The Circassians that stayed behind before and after the exodus and war were subject to pre-planned mass killings by Imperial Russia, accompanied by deliberate famine and epidemics, severely reducing the population. We get a little infamy. Uh, stop the, try to stop the collateral damage. We recognize their struggle. Ah, Russia's at peace. Russia's at peace. You know. Oh, good. We got that done. Great. That'll help very soon. Let's grab some more education efficiency. We absolutely need that. And to lower our infamy before we can go to war with anybody else. 
Hmm, this coffee's good stuff, man. Good stuff. Mikhail is dead. That is unfortunate. Let's be... And have good relations with them. Next up. So now I'm waiting for these guys to get over Colonial Crisis. An honest administration. It's almost tea time. Cricket later, anyone? Of course. And, oh yeah. Keep an eye on national focuses. Good. Oh, I could use some railroads there, guys. Some railroads, especially in Kursk. Oh, you already have it. I must have clicked on something else then. Build up Ukrainian lands with railroads. Mobilization impact. Bukata, sure. That's fine with me. Railroads here, good. Kiva, might as well. For now. Botanical expedition stranded. No, he's on his own. The cause of science demands we must rescue him. Good. Any other road? St. Petersburg looking amazing. There's a few fins there, but that's okay. For now. HPM is interesting. Morale's better. Procedure number two. I never go for prestige points or research points. Well, I always go for research points, never prestige points with like romanticism and stuff like that. People lose militancy. That's okay. And if we really want to check out railroads, let's go up infrastructure map mode. There you go. The blue means we can build stuff up. Everything else means it's not super boy now. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah, build a port. That sounds like fun. There you go. And there you go. Oh, and potential rebels. Who are they going to be? Perhaps uh, Jacobin rebels, melee patriots, now nah. Polish. Yeah, no one has a potential to rise up just yet, but it's always good to keep an eye on that stuff. You guys come over here, North Caucasia. Mm, can't build there, that's not my country yet. It's 1847. Can I build stuff here? I cannot. Our railroads are just level 1 stuff. Up here, too. Build some ports, I guess, why not? You never know if Napoleon might show up again. Even though he's long dead in 1847. Well, a certain Napoleon is. Well, what is Sweden doing? Oh, the Andrew Alliance. Uh, I really don't want to get involved in South American affairs. That doesn't sound like a lot of fun to me. Montenegro. That's unfortunate. I really don't care, though. I mean, spheres. I mean, I like Wallachia, maybe. The Caucasian Rebellion. Imam Shamil eluded our forces and retreated to the mountains, raiding villages and forts under our control. For the last month, however, he amassed a massive force and marched from the mountains, taking several forts by surprise, overrunning them and shattering our control over the land. Damn, these rebels are too troublesome to fight. Let them be free? No. And we're immediately at war with them. That's why I kept my army maintenance kind of high. And we're already there. Look at that. That worked out. Uh, if that's the case, I'm going to get rid of you guys. We got another group. Keep them down here. Just in case. And build another one up. Five. One. There you go. Better groups. Excellent. The Ottomans kind of like us. Let's increase relations with them. Spanish. The reactionary. That's almost tea time. Who cares what the natives think? Increase relations with them. They have Metternich's faction. That's okay. And increase relations with everyone but... I guess them, I guess. Why not? That's a lot of inf infantry. Uh, you guys come over here. And you guys come over there. So I think we have enough armies in Europe. I want to start sending some armies to Asia to really focus on China. I think that'd be a good thing to do. Good, thank you very much. Put you down. Put them down. Keep some guys there. And what are you guys doing over here? That is really not a great group. Hmm. Wait till we get one more group going. National focus. Imam Shamil escapes. So, in 1848, Shamil and his followers, numbering about 4,000 men, women, and children, found themselves under siege in the mountain stronghold of Akulgo, nestled in the bend of the Andi Koizu River, about 10 miles east of Gimri. The siege lasted 80 days, finally resulting in a Russian victory. The Russians suffered about 3,000 casualties, taking the stronghold, while the rebels were slaughtered in extremely bitter fighting, which was typical of the war, with no quarter asked for nor given. Shamil and a small party of his closest followers, including some family, managed to escape down the cliffs and through the Russian siege lines during the final days of Akulgo. Following his escape, he once again set about regaining his 
uh, regaining his following and resisting Russian occupation. We will root him out eventually. And of course we will put him down. Good. And that's almost done. Oh, Alashia. And the UK is at war with Zosa again. Great. Let's grab some intellectual people here. So, bureaucrats are nice. Intellectuals, clerks, farmers, laborers. Intellectuals would be. We're making some pretty good money now. I'm liking this. Let's see. Build some forts because we can. Build some forts because we can. Oh, God. Sax, Kolberg, Gotha. Anarcho liberals. Really, man. Eh, they could be worse, though. They could be Jacobins. Hmm. Let's do that. Just. I don't know. It doesn't really need, need any of this stuff. Oh, we're out of money. Oh, well, maybe we'll just stop doing that. Helgian idealism. Cool. Intervention. Oh, this is here we're talking about. 1848. So, the Hungarian Revolution in Austria sets a dangerous precedent. There are far too many minorities in the Russian Empire who might look to the Hungarians as an inspiration and who would rise up as well if we do not set a firm example. No matter our relation with the Austrian government, we must consider intervention against the Hungarian rebels or possibly face similar uprisings at home. We must crush them, which we get prestige and put down Hungary, and we get better relations with Austria or let the Austrians deal with them. We're putting them down. Good, and we're already at war with them. And this is why I was waiting this entire time. Before we go to war with Russia. Oh, Russia? We are Russia. Before we go to war with um, those other people called Chinese. Ching China. We're going to come in and smash them as hard as we can and then leave. Oh, you guys are not looking great. That's okay. Budget budget issues. Well, maybe do that for now. We don't need that much there. There you go. That should help out a little bit. And Persia. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, actually. Persia. Persia. Room of the sphere. That's good. And look, Austrians. Nothing says buddies like the Austrian Empire as well as the Russian Empire. We are buddies and buddies throughout. Oh, and Austria's mobilizing. Get in there, help them out. Yes, yes, yeah, Austria. Or just, it's just Austria. It's not even the Austrian Empire. Good. Put him down, put him down. If you could, maybe you can get over there in time. The Hungarians really rebelled here. Ah, yes, Persia, yes. Actually, you can demand an unequal treaty port with them eventually if you really wanted to. But you need more naval tech. And we are just nowhere close to doing that. Good, we smashed them. Oh, goodness gracious. Good. Guys, 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 why? Alright, we're sieging him down. Very nice, very nice. Oh, Austria. 17,000. Really shouldn't leave them there, but I'm going to leave it up to a lot of the Austrians to smash their armies, or at least get hit initially. And waiting up oh, there's another group. Very good. Awesome. Oh, look at that. Very good, very good. Anywhere else? Come on, siege him down. Cluj. Oh, they're winning down there, that's good. Opera give tuberculosis as well. I'll try to help him out if you can. Come on. Good. Get down there to help him out. Take the capital next. Good, you're done. Make sure they can't get their stuff back. Good, good, good. Those are all Austrians right there. Uh, they're beating up those guys, so be it. Oh, there you go. Kluge is done. Mm, come right there. That'd be fine. The Brishan. The Brishan. Very nice. Uh, cut Hungary down to size, yes. We're done with that warp. So, uh, that's a pretty good army. I'm going to leave you in Poland just in case things might not go great there. I'm going to leave you here as well. And, yeah, leave you over there. Oh, you guys are doing pretty well. Um, you guys actually aren't doing too bad, but you're not great. Disband them. You are being sent to the east. Alright, anyone else here? 
Yes. You're being sent to the east, even though you probably don't have a lot of men anyways. That's okay. That's okay. We can lower this first by a little bit. Lower that as well. Make a little bit more money. You are not moving, which is not good. You guys come up to Lithuania. And we put down the Hungarian Revolution, at least for us. Which should leave... Yeah, they have no military score now. Austria capable with 63 score to do that. So, the enormous white crown leaves of the flower shines with unrebelled luster. The botanical expedition we dispatched some time ago has returned home with a newly discovered flower. The flower, which is the size of a fist of a full-grown man, has quickly become the talk of Europe as gardeners all across the continent strive to cultivate it. In honor of the rich sponsorships we have provided our expedition, the flower has been named the Russian Empress. Our scientific discovery is envy of the world, and we get prestige. I love it. It's great. Right, we've done a great job against the Hungarians, which should really help out the Austrians quite a bit. Yes. I could give them more subsidies, but, you know, we can only share so much stuff with them. Go up, Persia. Hello there, Persia. America. Increase relations, because we can. Ottoman Empire, because we can. You guys. I want to be friendly with everyone. That's usually how I like to play. Be friendly with everyone, so we can backstab anyone and everyone if we need to. Good, 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 good. You guys are looking... Ooh. We're building up another army? No, we're not. So, I'm going to modify this group. So, get rid of two horses and two, inf uh, two infantry and... Well, get rid of both horses. Those are not very good. There we go. And we're going to need three artillery and one horse. Three artillery. There you go. And Montenegro wants an alliance. Ooh. Um, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay, man. Lashia. Oh, now you want an alliance after I did all that stuff down here? Hmm. I'm thinking nah, man. I'm thinking nah. Oh, we can go to, oh, we can go to war with them soon, too. That's actually really nice. France broke their alliance with them. Why did everyone break their alliance with Austria? Get more education efficiency. It's almost 1850. And that's okay. Oh, yeah. Combine those groups together. When can we go to war with Kalimantan again? Austrian Restoration. Yeah, they're going to win no matter what. Good. Oh, good. We got more education efficiency. Next up, let's grab some medicine. Maybe get more population growth. Get more soldiers and stuff like that. Oh, I can, oh, I can go to war with them. Yeah, might as well establish protectorate. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We don't have the potential manpower for that. Manpower. Infamy. Oh, I need 15 to take them out. That's, that's a lot. But they have precious metals. But these guys do as well. Hmm. This is a bigger population. They're pretty much exactly the same. This has a bigger population, though. Uh, Persia. Not bad, not bad. Put down some Hungarians. Take out a, just a little bit of South, South Borneo. Good times all around. And its supply is really bad here. We can get rid of one group. Oh, no. Don't spend half. Just get rid of one. Um, get rid of, I guess, an artillery piece, just because we won't have enough front, front line if we get rid of another division like that. Or brigade. Good, 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 good. Peresh, Perushka Circle. Founded in 1844, the Petrashevsky Circle discussed reforms in Tsarist Russia. Among the circle's members were people like Fyodor and Dostoevsky. And May 1849, 123 members of the circle were arrested, and Petrashevsky himself was sent to Siberia. Oh. Well, that's not always good. <laughs> that's not always good, yeah. That's not always good. Cool. Excellent. Tensions dissipate. And they demobilize, and Austria annexed Hungary. The great... Oh, boy. The great Irish famine. Oh, boy. Bavaria? Um, I'm, are you great power? No, it's secondary power. Austria! You're great power still, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tory party. Hmm. I have seen the Irish actually get so rebellious that they all rise up and put enforce their demands on the UK. Which is kind of insane to think that the Irish could do that since they didn't do, do that in real life. But whatever. Kind of cool. Hopefully that happens again. Knock down the British from being the, the global power that they are. Uh, the French. The Prussians. Ooh, two Sicilies is here too. Wow. What happened to Spain to do that? Holy crud. Do that as well. 
Austria loves us. I want the Americans to like us too. But we're gonna spend a lot of time gaining three more countries. Getting more guys up here. Ooh, what is this? He oh god. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now this is interesting. The Heavenly Kingdom has spawned. I'm gonna let them do this because if we can weaken them and make <clears throat> them stronger or make China weaker, the better for us. So the Peking Convention. And this will be the last few things we do. So since the Treaty of Nerchinsk, the Russian Empire has recognized the Aigun River and Sanovoy Mountains as a natural frontiers, natural frontiers between Russia and China. There are many within the government, however, who believe it would be in our best interest to access a southern port upon the Sea of Japan, namely the Chinese Sea of Haishinwai. Considering the Chinese only barely control their northeastern provinces, it seems within our right to negotiate for their control with, and with their state in of turmoil. Now is the best time to approach them. We get cores. Nice. They've accepted our proposal. Their border with Russia has been adjusted, and the treaty signed. Good news. Ah, I love it. And search for the Aegean civilizations. Ooh. Social sciences. We need money for that. And... Is that it? Oh, we can do. oh, look at that! That's beautiful! Look at this! We just got this group. Ah, oh, love it. So, we unfortunately have to end our episode there. So if you liked today's episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know your thoughts on my campaign so far, what I could do in the next episode. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day.